Uh, this is W5HRO. I was uh, doing some more work on the RF deck today. I got a little bit behind on this project and I'm getting close to finishing it up. Uh, I have the relay all powered up now. I can hit the uh, or switch the switch on the front panel back and forth and you can see the relay uh, opens and closes. And uh, there's the area stats for the uh, the AB bias supply when it's switched to it. One's for the 4-400 CG grid and the other one is for the uh, 1625 so I can control the clamp. The 1625 tubes are gonna go right there. I've had them plugged in. I've had that working before. I redid that board though to make more room for everything. And um, here's the relay control supply that I built down here. And I added the uh, some RF bypassing to improve it and I improved the grounding when I did that, so there's no RF that's going to interfere with it. And that's a 7812CV 1.5 amp regulator because I wanted to keep the 12 volt uh, relay coil nice and cool. Didn't want it getting too hot. And uh, I'm just going to leave this thing turned, everything powered up and turned on for the rest of the night and make sure everything's okay. There's the 4-400CG uh, filament transformer. That's been there since day one. And, it's, there's the connections. I've had that like that forever since I built this thing. And the 1625 filament connections are there and I plugged in the tube and it warms up and I get exactly 12.6 volts on it which is perfect. And uh, I just gotta install the uh, grid bias, the, uh, the grid leak resistor and the other little odds and ends and connect up the rest of the connections to the relay from the, uh, the wipers of the uh, rheostats from the uh, control grid supply for AB bias. That's all I got left. I just got to wire that up and I'm finished. Then I'm going to button everything back down. Yeah, I'm going to re I'm reconnecting. These are the dropping resistors. This is 200 K's in parallel to get 50 K for the high V dropping down to the screen of the Ford S 400 CG. And there's the, uh, the choke, the 10 Henry choke. And I've, there's one of the big doorknobs for the, uh, the, the, I'm forcing the, uh, the modulation on the screen by a capacitive divider from the, uh, the cold end of the, uh, the, uh, the RF choke coil. And I have two other, I don't know which one I'm gonna use, probably the smaller one here. I've got, this is the, the 100 puff. I don't mean 100 puff, this is .001,000 puff. And then I've got the same one, but I got a bigger 40K. These are huge. And it's gonna go right here to create the voltage divider network over. It's gonna actually mount here somewhere with a bracket and connect over here with this other other connection. Well, it's gonna connect right here where I've got the screen strap. So the voltage divider will be through this thing down to this one that's connected to ground. That's a, uh, that's a big one. That's like a 40 kV. It's .0075 is what it is. Almost .008, so that's perfect. So that's it. I'll get this thing finished up soon and get it back on the air.